So you're wanting to hook up your boat or your trailer for the first time, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get the car lined up behind us. The nice thing is if you have a rear view camera, you can actually get it pretty close to the trailer. But if you have someone else, they can help you out by signaling or you can just guesstimate and I've done that a couple of times and it takes about five to six tries, but we're gonna go ahead and do it with the camera. So the first thing I would suggest is when you're backing up from it, uh, when you're really far away, is to like go over your shoulder and just kind of really kind of get it in the normal spot. And you can actually line it up pretty close this way. And then when I'm about four feet, four or five feet, I go to the camera or I get someone in my mirror and then they can signal me so I can get even closer. And right now I'm just lining it up and I'm gonna put it just barely under that hitch like I did just now. Put the e-brake on and then lower it on. So as you can see, I'm a little too far back. This spot needs to be on the back of the hitch so I just need to move forward a little bit more and we should be good to go. So I actually had to put some grease on that ball because it was kind of rusty. This is usually not the setup that I use. So that hitch needed a little bit of grease and the trailer's empty so it's pretty light. So we got it slapped on there and now we are gonna lock it back up. Spin the needle through, safety latch. This is in case if the trailer hitch somehow it gets disconnected here. This is gonna break a little pin in there and hit the brakes. So you wanna hook that on there nice and good. And then this is in case it falls off as well, so stay on your vehicle. And then you also wanna hook it up. Some require different styles. And then some trailers and cars require different types of connectors. Like this, I gotta use a different type of connector. So I'm gonna go get that, connect it, and then we can start driving.